Good evening fly fishers. I'm going to tie up one of my flies here that I call my holographic deer hair clouser. And there's a finished version of it right there so you have an idea what it looks like, what we're going to end up with. Okay, it's a pretty simple fly that uh, five easy steps and takes about eight minutes to tie once you get the practice in doing it. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, I like to use a uh, Mustad shrimp hook. It's a C47 SD size 1. A Mustad shrimp hook size 1. I like this hook because it has a nice wide gap to it which helps increase my ratio of catching fish. It's able to really catch inside of a fish's mouth much easier and a higher ratio of catching them because of that wide gap. And I also like this very short shank here because less material gets fouled the material won't wrap around this short shank as barely as it would a longer shank so first step here is putting on some red thread this is um Danville's 210 denier like to put a little bump there about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch back. I'll leave plenty of room for the deer hair. That's going to be at the front of this fly. Build that bump up a little bit. Just something for the dumbbell eye to uh, lean against. Okay. I have some medium-sized dumbbell eyes here. Um, metallic red is this color. Figure eight it. Get it on there nice and secure. Cross underneath, figure eight, and just kind of all around it. Nice and tight. Put some uh, hard as hull glue on here. Okay, now we're going to tie in the belly. Um, I like to use this product called uh, Flash and Slinky. Um, another equal product would be uh, Steve Farrer's SF Flash Blend. They're both made by uh, just H2O products in a shrimp color. Okay, and this will be the belly part of the fly. Take off about an eighth inch wide piece is what we'll do here. I like to stick out the back about um, two and a half to three inches. I'll just get it secure on there with a couple of wraps. I'll come back with the ends of that same fiber and kind of just taper it in and stagger it further in and build it up. A couple more strips here. Okay. I'll even continue to use the back ends of that fiber and just bring them more and more forward to create kind of a round shape to this, an oval shape. And still I'll come back later at, when I'm done with the fly and just cut it and shape it the way I like it to a nice belly shape. But uh, this is pretty much it here. Straighten it out. Cross over. Couple of figure eights. Straighten that out. Okay, now we'll, what we'll do is turn this over, back side up and belly down, just like so. And what we're going to tie in next is our Flasher Boo Holographic Flash in gold color. I like to grab about 10 strands or so, 10 fibers. Put it on each side of the fly one at a time. I like to stick out the back about a quarter inch past the belly material or the end of the fibers here. a couple of wraps, straighten it out, 
I like to pull these fibers individually so I have a nice staggered um, finish at the end of these at the end of these uh, flashy fibers here. Okay, and I'll take the back end of that batch I grabbed here and then put it on the other side, just like so. Always look to straighten it out on top. This way I like to get a nice uneven finish or stagger the uh, ends of this flash at the back here. Trim that. Sometimes I put black crystal flash across the top of this too, but we'll go ahead and skip that. Um, the next step will be um, black bucktail. I'll grab a batch of that. I like it straight, about an eighth inch to quarter inch thickness on that. Okay, that should do there. Kind of clean the ends, get rid of all the dead fibers in there, brush them out. I like to kind of just split it right down the middle, put it right down the hook, like so. I like to make this uh, black back about the same length as the belly section. Okay, just like that. A couple of wraps. Straighten that out. off a little bit of glue help secure it a little bit more reseat that bucktail a little tighter don't want it to splay out too much Okay, and now we come in with the um, last step here, the fifth and final step, um, with some black deer hair. Grab a clump of this here, about a quarter inch thick. Same thing, I'm going to clear it out, get rid of all the dead brush that's in there. Just kind of rub it out. And just kind of grab the end of it. Just place it right over the top of the hook, like so. And pull it down flat on top of the bucktail, just like so. Grab it with your other finger, like that. And we're going to uh, do three or four wraps and just let the, the ends of that deer hair flare out just like you're spinning deer hair. And then just take the tips of them that are sticking out and fold it backwards just like so. Just fold it backwards with your other finger just like that. And hold it down with your opposite finger. Okay, you get as much of the hairs back as possible and just tie off in front. You're going to build up a nice head here without catching any of the hairs underneath. This thread head will uh, hold back that um, deer hair from folding forward, hopefully. You could always come back and trim this up later. Okay, I'm going to tie this off with my whip finisher. Got to be 
careful not to catch any of those hairs, just like so. Okay, now the floor is completed. Five simple steps. Take it out. I'm going to trim this guy up. Kind of just give it some nice round shape to it. Trim up the belly section a little bit. Make that nice and round. Trim the sides. Give it a nice haircut. Kind of get the hairs to stand a little bit more and trim a little more. Okay, and there's the finished product. Your holographic deer hair clouds are all trimmed up. Um, this slide is really designed to uh, push more water because of this wide head um, on the deer hair. Um, it will land softer with less noise. Uh, it has a really wide profile to it to show up better in the water, especially stained water being that it's a dark fly. Um, it even acts as a weed guard a little bit if the fibers are stiff enough it can bounce over uh, structure or oysters or anything like that a little bit easier without that hook getting caught up but basically it get, that deer head hair really gives it um, a nice silhouette and shape to the fly and um, helps it land softer and things like that so it doesn't take long to tie uh, roughly eight nine minutes and uh, you're good to go and that's pretty much it so good luck hope you catch a bunch with them have a good one.